thanks for tuning in again. Uh, in again. Um, up to now, we've been doing the fundamentals of Wing Chun, and we're going to continue to go over the basics. In the system that I teach, we have basically 10 blocks that we do every day. Of course, there's more blocks um, in the system, but with these particular 10 we do every day, and we do them to nausea. Okay, we do them over and over and over again. Okay, there's 10 of them. Usually in class, we will do 100 a piece. So we're talking about a thousand blocks, a thousand blocks. These, these 10 blocks are kind of the you know, cornerstone of our art, meaning that they become a part of your neural pathways, okay? Because you do them over and over again. First, they're hard to do, your body, your shoulders get tight, but as you do them, they become a part of you. You're developing neural pathways. Eventually, after you learn Chi Sao and start doing Gore Sao, these blocks will start coming out because you practice them so much in the air. These 10 blocks come straight out. Some of these blocks come straight out. Some of them go in. Some roll from the inside out. Some roll from the outside in. So they're basically linked in a way so that when you're doing Gore Sao or Chi Sao, you have basically an answer for any attack that comes to you. If you get good at these blocks, if you put them into your, your Gore Sao practice, you learn how to block clear. With the skills of have, being able to block clear, you then have the tools to attack clearly and precise. So I'm going to have my student, Greg, demonstrate these 10 blocks. Okay. This is Busau. This is Foxau. Foxau is about eye level, same with Busau. Bongsau, elbows higher than shoulder, shoulders higher than hand, wrist approximately on the center line. This is Hoi Kwan Sao. It's a combination of Bong Sao and Tan Sao. This is Tan Pak, Tan Pak Sao, or Pak Tan. This is Noi Kwan. Inside rolling is noi. Hoi would be outside rolling. This is ganjam. This is gum sao. This is ding han. This is Wu Jet. Wu Jet. As I said before, these 10 blocks we do over and over and over again. We, we embed them in our, in our DNA. Okay, We do them over and over again, and eventually they come out in our chi cell. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, there's lots more to come. And like I said before, I'm keeping it very, very simple. Um, so that I'm trying to get people interested in Wing Chun. I'm trying to help people who maybe don't have a Sifu and they're trying to learn it on their own. Give them some ideas of things that they can work on. So again, thanks, uh, thanks uh, very much for watching uh, the video today. Thank you very much.